Here we oh, go. Oh, Moses. Moses, man, look at him. Jim Biver, hitting record here. All right, we're recording. Here we go. This guy's All right, here we go. No turning back here. No turning back, baby. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Come on, oh, man. That's five oh, yards. He's starting to gonna play some music. and then throw the flag. What are you doing? Terrible. <laughs> what song are you playing to bring I, my boys I'm, hey, I'm, hey, I'm going to play Amy was Grant. That the cherry? Hey, was that the chariot of fire? <laughs> <laughs> he said cherry yeah. to fire. Yeah, it was. It was. Right, here we go. Take two. Take two. Right, here take we go. Two. Oh, take two, baby. God. Take two. Here we go. Take two. Mm. Amy Grant. Oh, hell no. Hell no. No. Stop. Stop. We are not playing that shit. Give me a song. Give me a song. Wait, wait, G, what song y'all want, man? Hey, man, put some Tupac on this thing. Tupac. Yeah. Which one? You don't have Tupac on your phone? Uh, I don't. Hey, he's a white guy. You don't have Tupac. (laughs) What what do you got on there, man? Hold on. I I can find Tupac. You're doing Eddie Grant. What happened to that? Uh, Here we go. What do you want? What do you want? Ambition? R.E.O. Speedwagon? Hey, all eyes on me. Dear Mama, what do you want? All eyes on me. Yeah. Right. Dear Thompson, Mama. Thompson oh, twins would have been better than Amy Grant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we have the Grant brothers on. Amy Grant. I want to do Eddie Grant, Electric Avenue, but I can't. All right. That, that all right. My point. Take three. Here we right, go. Here we go. Right. Take three. This, this one's got to go. <laughs> Take four. Man, we're throwing flags all over the place here on you. What kind of show is this? Jeez. Hit the who cares button. <laughs> That's it. All right. Oh, Jesus. That's not, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is it. Big sight. <laughs> New Hank. Go, go. Big yeah. All right. All right, we got the Here we go, now. here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all know how this shit goes, you know? All eyes on me. Oh, come on. Yeah. Roll up in the club. Yeah, right. Okay. All right, time to set the mood for our special guests. We've got the Grant Twins standing by on Give Me the Hot Sauce. Stacy, why don't you do the introduction? We got my man, Horace Grant, my man who I won three titles with in Chicago. <laughs> One of the backbones to that team doesn't get enough credit, but I'm giving him credit today. All right. And we got his twin brother, Harvey the General Grant. The man that I was <laughs> side by side with. We should have won a national champion. We got robbed. We got robbed. Yeah. <laughs> but the general, the general was one of my, these guys were two of my best teammates ever. You got a question for the guys? Oh, you want me to ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Are you, are you the moderator? <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask a question. <laughs> hey, Grant hey, Brothers. Hey, Grant hey, Brothers. Hey. Grant Brothers. Welcome to the Give Me the Hot Sauce <laughs> podcast show. It's hard to get y'all because, you know, I got to go through all like five secretaries to get y'all on the show. Oh, it's stop Thanks, the madness. Stop the madness, man. You know I'm plain as Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Horace in so long. He done, he done grew a beard. He looked like he went to the mountaintop to go get tablet, and he came down. Let my people go. Hey, I got the tablets right here. Hey. Let my people go. <laughs> that was some question, by the way. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm having fun with my boys, okay? Okay. And you know, you're about ready to get a two-piece, seriously. <laughs> so tell me what you guys are doing. Horace, what are you doing right now? Well, you know, with, the, with COVID and everything, everything is, of course, uh, uh, through Zoom and all of that. But right now I'm out in California. I'm still doing work for the Bulls, uh, you know, via Zoom. Uh, enjoying this nice weather, drinking wine and some tequila, <laughs> things of that nature. Yeah, but, uh, so cool. All is good. How about you, Harv? Man, I'm just uh, enjoying the grandkids, King. You know, I got uh, four grandkids, man. Ooh. Just enjoying them and, you know, just trying to stay safe. That's about it. Well, you're a young enjoying grandfather. Life a little bit. You're a young grandfather. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep, yep, got four of them. Wow. Oh, yep. oh my two goodness. Two boys, two girls. 
Woo. Yeah, we saw Harvey Sun last week, King. Uh, Jeremy was lighting him up. Oh, free cheese. <laughs> free cheese. <laughs> Mouse in the house. Oh, I could have used any saying for Jeremy. Hey, all, all I kept saying was I kept looking at him, Harvey, and I and I, you know, I've known him since he was a little boy. So mm-hmm. I've watched him grow up. And the one thing I, I saw in the game the other night, he he shoots the ball very similar to you. He's real smooth with it. You know, he's, he probably jumps higher than you, though. Yeah, no question. You know, yeah, no, he, no he got question. some superior hops. But <laughs> defensively, defensively and the way he shoots the basketball, like he has come a long way over these last three years. I, I, I said on TV the other night, I would be shocked if he's not the most improved player this season. Wait, he, he has a chance, uh, Stacey. He has a chance. But I, I uh, commend him on uh, – uh, just working hard uh, during the summertime. You know, every, every year he works on a different part of his game. You know, when he first came out of Syracuse, they said he uh, uh, couldn't do anything defensively. So that summer he worked on, uh, you know, moving his feet and, and trying to, to become a defensive player. Then the next year they said, well, you know, he can't, uh, he can't shoot the ball. So he's worked on his shooting. Then the year after that, uh, they said, well, can he put it down and take it to the hole? So every summer, he worked on a different part of the game. Now you're seeing the, uh, uh, the effect. Hey, Harvey, uh, Jaron was here for a couple of years with the Bulls. I know he's with the Houston early in the uh, training camp. Where's he at now? All right, he's over in uh, Greece playing uh, with uh, uh, his uh, older brother. They're on the same team over in Greece. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How do you like it out there? Oh, he loves it. He loves it. And once this uh, uh, COVID thing is over, I'm hopping on a plane. I'm going to Greece for about 10 days. Oh, wow. <laughs> what part of Greece is he in? Uh, Athens. Athens. <sighs> Great city. So, so, Harvey, what was it like playing with uh, with everyone's All-American, Stacey King, in college? <laughs> Did you get any shots? Oh, Did, were there any shot what attempts out there? Did he get any shots? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I mean, hey, hey, what are you talking about? I think, I, hey, 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 King. <laughs> what were nicknames? Hey, they 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 used to call uh, Stacy the black hole. Oh, <laughs> <Uh-oh. laughs> <laughs> hey, once that ball go in, it, it ain't coming back out. <laughs> that's uncalled for, General. General, that's uncalled for. Uh, that, that's really uncalled for. So, hey, y'all call Stacy uh, Michael Jordan, and uh, and uh, that's his nickname in in, in uh, Oklahoma. Uh, shit. When when MJ got that ball, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> have big on it. Hey, hey, I, I always say, like in college, I was uh, me and Harvey were unguardable in college. We had high low going. Harvey oh, could yeah. shoot that 18, 20 foot jumper. I always say when I got to the league, the only person who guard me was Phil Jackson. <laughs> that's the only person who stopped me. <laughs> Nobody else. That's the only person who stopped me. <laughs> Phil was all defense on me. <laughs> That's because you had that workout with him. He hated you from that that very moment. Oh man, no, no, no. that's an, that's another story, <laughs> different time. That's another story. So, yeah. G, so G, quick question for you. Yeah. Oh, Horace. So you saw the last dance. Oh hell. Oh, here and we go. Because <laughs> hey, everybody hey, wants to know. Hold on, you, hey, you said the last hear. song or the last dance? Which one? Which one? What's that? <laughs> Yeah, the last song or the last dance? <laughs> <laughs> the last supper. Yeah, the last supper. Last supper. He's on the hill. He's hey, <laughs> hey, so so everybody everybody we've had on saw it. You know, we've had Bill Carwright, Scott Williams, Bobby Hansen. You know, everybody's had their opinions of it. You know, what was your opinion of the of the last dance? Man, it's as you know my opinion. It was I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. I was so irate, I mean, on some of the things. And a friend of mine called me and he said, he was like, HG, what do you expect? That was from his point of view. And and I started to think, I'm like, damn, you you you're right. You know, watch, I mean, shit, if I if I wrote something like the last song or the last dance. Shit, it's gonna be all about me too. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I used to take twenty five shots a game. <laughs> so, but you know, it was entertaining. Um, I, I mean, it was over what thirty years ago. I mean, I can't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it, was, it was it was not accurate for the most part. 
Yeah, and they and they took you to task, you know, saying that you were the source for Sam Smith's book. I mean, that was some pretty cold stuff there, Horace. Mark, Mark, it, it was like I found out so much after the fact um, in terms of, um, you know, MJ playing golf with Sam, um, inviting Sam up to his room when he was a rookie or second year. Um, all of that stuff. I mean, I mean, people know me, and Sam and I are still good friends. But when it comes to the sanctuary of the locker room, man, if I had to say something, it wouldn't have been nothing easy or something PG. It would have been X-rated. But you know, then then I made the statement of um, um, you know. I think it was MJ who threw his teammates under the bus in terms of saying that he went to a room, went to one of the guys' room, and he saw women and drugs and things of that nature. So right. I say, you know, who's the snitch? Man, I said, hey, I'm saying, I think it was Phil Jackson. Is that what you're saying, Harvey? You think it was yeah, Phil? I think it was Phil, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> way, to, way to be controversial down there, General. I know. I'm just kidding. Well, like, you know, I, I've always said this, and I and I, you know, we were a tight knit group. First of all, the first dance when we were on had nothing to do with the second dance. Like any of us had nothing to do with that. So even if that story that had nothing to do with the second dance, that's what I felt like a lot of stuff that was said. Um, the Scotty sitting out with you know the eight seconds that had nothing to do with you know, the second, the second group of championship runs, you know, and it had nothing to do with MJ wasn't even on that team when that happened. And so that, that kind of, you know, that kind of me, I thought it was kind of petty a little bit, you know, picking out things and trying to, you know, it made certain people look bad. And it's well, not how it happened. Think about this, SS. I mean, um, I wasn't on that second uh, um, tier of the Greek championship. I watched it. People have back trouble. Um, and MJ called him out um, uh, against uh, Utah. But if you go and look at Skip played over 40 minutes in that game with the bad back. So, I mean, I mean, he he, he really threw Pip under the bus. And I have to take my hat off to Pip uh, for the most part because, you know, he didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, and the way they portrayed, I mean, listen, everybody has their opinion of Jerry Krause. You know, and, and the way they portrayed him, you you don't have to like Jerry. You know, you don't have to get along with Jerry. Jerry was cool with me. I had no problem with Jerry. You had no problem with Jerry. You know, you know, Jerry was a, a, a guy that, you know, some people had a hard time dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to get that man his credit. I mean, he put two, you know, different three peak teams together. How many general managers could actually do that? Um, not many. Not many whatsoever. I mean, in, in terms of, he was our GM. And we had to, you, you got to respect him for that. Maybe a lot of the players didn't get along with him, but you have to respect authority like that. I mean, from, from the standpoint of what I've heard some of the players say, man, I mean, it, was, it wasn't good. But um, I got put two, three peaks together orchestrated that and you got to give that man his credit where credit is due i mean he was looking out for the organization and that's what uh um uh, mr ryan's or uh, jerry paid him for look out for that organization and he did by putting three um um two three peaks together you know, it's how Horace called him Mr. Reinsdorf. He's still getting them checks, you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He's respectful, <laughs> man. He's stupid. Yeah. Oh, see, see how that is? See, you being respectful, man. Come on. Yeah, Mark. Right. See, look at Mark. <laughs> He's well, trying see, to get some controversy started yeah, over yeah. here. See, I, I have to apologize to Horace because I wrecked his broadcasting career. We got thrown to the out, out the door the same year. Uh, oh, for real? Yeah, Horace, Horace was coming in doing some work for us on the pre and post game, and I guess I dragged him down so much they kicked us both out the door. Man, Gene, Gene was getting tired of coming from California in the cold <laughs> weather. That's all that was. Because we used to sit up on the, up on the set. So you like, man, I'm going home, man. It's cold up here. I don't even know why I'm here. That's, that's, I got to go back home. <laughs> hey, hey I'm, I'm, I'm praying that the Bulls don't go into overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I just want to ask you guys, there's so many brothers in the league now. 
and you guys, I know Von, the Van Arsdale brothers, but then you, you guys amazed at like all the brother combinations that are playing in the league today. Go ahead, Harvey. Wait, wait. Only thing I can say, we are the best. You can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, our family got four championships. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would. Yeah. I would say you guys are the best set of twins in the history of the game. I know some people say Van Arsdale's uh, Tim and Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't remember them. I don't remember them. Yeah, you're too young. Young. You're you're too young. I was too young, young for that. Hey, yeah. But you were still were in the Hunt Club, you know, rolling the streets. Wow. Too. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you're like, one <laughs> real tight sweatshirt on. Okay, I see your heart. Hey. That's so tight. Uh, hey, wasn't it the uh, was it the Van Arsdale? Were they yeah. on, on the movie The Hoosier? <laughs> yeah, they were, they were part of it. Part of it. Yes. Beach baskets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Harvey, so let's, let's give the viewers a little insight of what it was like playing for Coach Tubbs at Oklahoma and, and that running and gunning team that we had at Oklahoma that was, to this day, one of the, one of the greatest college teams that did not win a championship. I tell, you, I tell you what, King, you remember we, I think we was in Hawaii. We was in Hawaii, and uh, I think we was playing Georgia. We were playing someone, right? And the score ended up being like 145 to 100. But the, the headlines were saying uh, uh, a team scored 100 points but lose by 45, you know, and that was the type of team that we had, you know. And, and playing for Coach Tubb, you know, and you can contest to this, is that if you can play, he put you on the court. Yeah, and let you and, and let you you know be yourself, and and you know he did not take pity on anybody. We can be up by 45, 50 points. He still want to press the whole game, and that's something we enjoy, you know. Yes. And like you said earlier, we got robbed in that championship game. Yeah, we did. We got robbed. Yeah, we did. Yeah, at high tower. <laughs> if you're listening, at high tower. If you're listening, <laughs> I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, I like I like to talk to you at high tower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They hey, will hey, have him on the show, and I'm gonna grill him. The game was in Kansas City, right? In Kansas City, the fiftieth, the fiftieth anniversary of the Final <laughs> Four, and uh, we're playing a team that's had basically having a home game in the national championship game. Unheard of! Unheard of! Well, yeah, it's Danny they, Manning in the mirror they, for those of you. They did have that guy named Danny Manning. Yeah, and Danny I'm, Manning. Yeah. Here we go. I have nightmares about that. Danny, Danny Manning. Manning. <laughs> the three refs, you know. So. <laughs> hey, talk talk us through the relationship it is for you guys to be so successful as twins. And when you're going through high school and college and the pros, obviously you supported each other, but there had to be a rivalry. How tough were you guys on each other when when something would when you'd get an accomplishment? Like Horace is winning championships, Harvey scoring more points, you guys going back at each other. What was that like, the dynamic between you two? Well, I was damn pissed when he was scoring more points than me. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I'm supposed to... And then I look around, and I'm playing with MJ, Scotty. I said, even Pax and BJ got more shots than me. <laughs> and I look, at, I look at the stat sheet. Damn, Horace, three for five. Harvey, three for 22. And I'm looking, and half of my points come off offensive rebound. I'm like, see, we got to do something <laughs> about this field. <laughs> hey, you know, hard. Um, I, I, I think that uh, we've been so competitive, helped us um, throughout our years uh, from college, high school, and uh, through the NBA. Um, you know, as long as we got that win, man. Hey, yeah, I, I was about to say that, that hey, Horace, but hey, if you look at it, you, uh, when I was with the Bullets, our record was uh, eight and forty-five. <laughs> Your record was forty-five and eight. So. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. But but then hey, I always told Pip. I said, Pip, man, do not let that dude score, Pip. Pip, please. Don't <laughs> I said, hey, Pip. I'm like, Pip, please. And Pip was like, Okay, I got it. Damn, Harvey ended up with damn 22 points. I'm like, <laughs> like damn. Yeah, I, I, knew it, I knew it was a conspiracy, dude. I knew it. <laughs> it was, because he definitely told Pip that. Yeah. Oh, score. Yeah. Deny him the ball. Yeah. Don't let him get to his spots. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, 
Yep, sure did. I'm like, but you know, Harvard had um, a big season that year. Um, the team didn't do well, but you know, um, he did very, very well. Yeah. I think he averaged almost 20 points that year. Didn't he? Yep, yep, yep. Like ni- ni- 19 point. To be active, about 19.7. So yeah, that's I know. Hey, <laughs> like, look at it. He know exactly how many points he had. He didn't even have, didn't even have to ask him. Around 19.7.5. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, and, and, and 9, 9.5 rebounds to, okay, oh. that's, you know, that's 10. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about how you guys, coming out of high school, Sparta, Georgia, you guys ended up at Clemson. And then, Horace, you end up staying – and then Harvey ended up leaving. So, so talk a little bit about that, how you guys ended up going to um, Clemson. Was it always a goal that both you guys were going to play on the same team together? Well, uh, uh, out of high school, King, we actually wasn't uh, recruited, really. I, I think uh, it was by, uh, by accident. Right, Harv? You remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it, it, was a, it was a coach from Anderson Junior College. Who just uh, just uh, happened to be driving throughout you know through our little small town, and we had a basketball game, and uh, he came in and you know saw two real skinny dudes you know putting up some good numbers, and uh, and and came back and actually did you know uh, did we want to come to a junior college, and and being from a small town we were like yeah okay, but then. I guess they told uh, the head coach uh, from Clemson at the time was a uh, who was it Bill Foster, Bill Foster, and you know and to come down and watch us, and uh, he sent uh, uh, the coach uh, Clint Bryant. He came down, and the next thing you know, they had offered us a uh, full scholarship to go to Clemson. They told us, "Don't worry about Anderson Junior College." <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so who's the uh, evil twin? There's always one. Man, hey, oh, hey, look shit. at that. Hey, hey, look at that dude beer. Right there. Look at hey. that dude beer. <laughs> Listen, man. Hey, look hey at that remember, beer. hey, this beer looks like Moses, man. I'm holy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did some hey. fact checking. Uh, Horace, you had a higher career average than uh, than Harvey. You were oh, 11 boy. 2, and Harvey was 9 8 9 9. So, you know, just keep that in your back pocket. Hey, oh. hey, hey, oh. hey, I played, hey, I, I played with uh, Clyde Drexler, Terry Porter, Buck Williams. Those dudes did not pass the ball either. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Harvey didn't just say those guys didn't pass the ball. I played, I played with MJ, Pimp, uh, Shaq, and, and Penny Hardaway. Penny passed the ball. Um, Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> So, oh, man. Oh, oh. Okay, you, you got a point. You got a point. Okay. Hey, yeah, he does have a point. Hey. And I think Stacy stopped. Hey, Stacy didn't pass the ball either. Hey, listen, because hey, there weren't a lot of stops for me, bro. I'm hey, I gotta take them when I get them. If I get four <laughs> passes, they going up. Hey, so when you when you left Chicago, horse, because you left, you know, you left for as a free agent. You know, how how tough was that to leave Chicago and leave, you know, a championship organization? Because we were at that time, you know, MJ had was retiring and gonna go play baseball. And the opportunity for you to, you know, go to another situation uh, and play. Um, so what was that like? Tell the viewers what that light was like leaving Chicago and then going to Orlando and then helping that team get to the finals. Y'all should have won. Yeah. Hey, hey, well, hey, King, I'm, I'm going to interrupt something. Hey, Harry, don't bullshit. You left because of 50 million. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead and take hey. It was for the money, Harv. It was for the money. Hey, yo. Come, come hey, on, man. Yeah, but I said, don't listen to the evil twin. Hey, I said, don't listen to the evil twin. Hey, hey. No, um, to answer the question, uh, uh, SS, it's, it was one of the most toughest decisions I had to make. I mean, I was leaving a great city, uh, great teammates, man. We had won about 50, what, 55 games that year and should have made it to the finals on a fluke. None should have been a non-call um, in New York. Yeah. And I'll leave it at that. But um, it was tough, man. It, w- it was tough. But, you know, helping that team, um, um, you know, when helping the team win three championships, um, bringing that city, um, helping to bring that city uh, to the forefront, it was, it was very tough. But looking at free agency, I mean, um, you know, it, it, it was about the best deal that I could – 
I could get. And Orlando wasn't. I mean, you had a young Shaq, a Penny, uh, a Nick Anderson, a Dennis Scott. So, I mean, the court was there. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to go there and win said, uh, uh, some more championships with this, with this young crew. And plus, you know, MJ had retired. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't think he was coming back. Yeah. <laughs> if I thought he was coming back, maybe it would be a little different. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was one of the toughest decisions because I talked to Pip for hours um, um, before I made that decision, and he understood. Hey, when did you guys know that uh, Stacey King was going to become a big multimedia star? Come on, I man, mean, stop. He always had that bit larger than life personality. Harvey, I want to start with you. Back in the days in, in college, did you have a feeling that 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 Stacey was going to do big things with that personality of his? Ah, uh, no, no question, man. It, can, can you see him now? He can't stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> he was like that in college, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, we all knew it, you know, we all knew it. Me, uh, uh, Ricky, Mookie, and Dave, we, we all knew it. <laughs> and Horace, they kept bringing in guys trying to steal your job, and Stacy was one of those guys, right? <clears throat> yeah, it, yeah, man, woo! You had me scared there, you had me scared. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, when, when they, when they uh, Phil called me to his office, he said, Horace, you have to guy who's a threat to your position. And I, I'm quoting Phil. I looked at Phil. I ain't know. I mean, I ain't know to like punch him in the gut or or hit him in the shoulders <laughs> or thank you. I said thank you, Phil, for being honest. And I went out there and started pumping weights, me and Alpha Bill pushing cars <laughs> and all that shit. I'm like, oh hell. And um. We got there and it was a battle, man. It was a battle um, uh, from the get go. And I think that we, we, uh, Stacey and I being um, competitive with each other just made us better players and made the team better. I thought you were talking about Jeff Sanders. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, oh, we got a comedian in the midst here, man. Oh my God. Oh my oh, God. Sleepy, 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 sleepy Sanders, baby. I'm sleepy Sanders. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my goodness. Hey. The archives on that one. Hey, but uh, I mean, I we knew we knew Stacy had the ability to become a, a, a great uh, commentator because I mean, when when the team was when we lost one or two games in a row, you know, everybody would be down and second guessing themselves and thinking I could have done this better, or I could have done that better. And Stacy comes on the on the bus or plane and start talking like Bill Cartwright. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and just liven everything up, man. Start talking about people clothes and, and shoes and things like that. I mean, hey, we knew it, man. Hey, he kept us, he kept us loose. <laughs> Har rums. Hey, hey, Har Harvey's got a Harvey, we got an interesting story with Harv. See, because I, I feel like you know, he's got these these super talented kids. Like oh, this, yeah. I mean, two NBA players, his older son's been playing overseas, been a pro. So, so like I feel like I was involved in all of this, okay? Because 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 he knows his 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 the child his mother's children. I introduced them. Oh, okay. I introduced them. Oh. That was for me. See, you didn't know that, Horace. You didn't know that, did you? No, no, you didn't know that. I introduced Harvey to Beverly. Nice. And so I had to take a little credit <laughs> for these beautiful boys that he's produced that are playing pro ball. It's I, I got to take a little percentage. And an agent fee. Right? Yeah, an agent fee. Because Harvey, Harvey, when I introduced him, Harvey was like, and I told her, I said, I got this girl. You know, she wants to meet you. Yada, yada, yada. He's like, where's she at? How she look? You know how first thing they ask. Oh, yeah. How she look? How she look? <laughs> I said, man, don't worry about that. Just come on. You're gonna, you're gonna, I'm going to introduce you. Come on, dude. And they hit it off. Boom. Like that. It was magical. I feel like Cupid. Did you guys yeah. double date? No, we didn't double date because I was playing the field. I oh, yeah. double date when I'm, I'm out with 10 different girls. I cannot double date, Mark. I mean, you, you, you try to break up a happy home. Honey, if you're listening, don't that, listen to this. this that, that was a stinger it. to that stuff, by Stinger, way. stinger. You asked that question? Yeah. yeah, I figured you guys double dated me. No, stinger, stinger. You, what? Stinger, what? stinger. No, I didn't double date because I was a college kid and I was just enjoying the fruit of the well, labor. you could hook up your friends, but you couldn't I, have no, gone out I, with I, them? I was my boy up. You couldn't have been. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was a little bit older. 
So, you know, he was older than me. And I was just kind of, I was just out there. I was young playing the field. So it's hard to go double date when you, you got 10 of them. <laughs> yeah, you got 10 of them, baby kids. I can't do it. The stories always get bigger over time. No, you, you need a bigger hot tub. <laughs> you know, this is what I got to deal with hard. This is what I got to deal oh with. But I'm going to tell you what, these, these two guys, I mean, to, um, not too many people say they play with both of these guys. And I tell you what, they are, they are so different, but so alike. It's crazy because, like, they're both funny. They both can hoop, first of all. But Harvey is Harvey is funny. <laughs> he got some stories of Oklahoma. Harvey oh is my goodness. And G G is funny. Hor- Horace is funny too. But I tell you what though, if you got to go down a dark alley, and I, I got to be in a foxhole, trust me, them two they've been there with me. <laughs> There's some other people I would not go down a dark alley with, and there's some people I would not allow in my foxhole because I can't trust you. Because you go fight. If you ain't gonna fight, you can't be here. These two will fight, and that's why I've always appreciated them. They're just they're just really good dudes, man. Really good people. I'm glad we're friends for life. Yeah, appreciate the oh love. yeah. Yes, yes. Appreciate the love. Yes, oh, yes. Baby. oh baby. <laughs> hey, it was so great to catch up with the Grand Twins, Horace and Harvey. Thank you so much for being our guests. And Harvey, when you get over to Greece, make sure you tell Jaron what's up. And uh, we really enjoyed his time here with the Bulls. I sure will, guys. All eyes on me, baby. Hit it. Come on. Stinger. Stinger. Stinger is a part time DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Tupac, baby. Oh, shit. Horace and Harvey Grant, our special guests. We're going off the wall next. Give me the hot sauce. Say that beer, Moses.